Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tony Beckham. Uh, I want to show you today how to set up new endpoints and credentials in Yukalobo. Yukalobo is awesome, makes it easy to switch between different users of the same cloud or switch around to different clouds and you know do everything you need to do. Launch instances, create load balancers, uh, volume, snapshots, anything that you have permission to do uh, and your cloud supports you can do. Now Yukalobo supports AWS and Eucalyptus. Uh, here I am. This is the main screen of Yucalobo. I'm in the credentials and regions section. Um, you can see I have a few different endpoints defined already. This is uh, my Intel NUC setup I have running at home. Uh, this is Amazon US West 1, so that's Amazon endpoint. And this is a Eucalyptus uh, QA cloud that I do some testing on. And up here you can see my credentials. So I have my credentials for AWS US West, US West 1 as well as my credentials for the QA cloud. Now I accidentally deleted my NUX one, but it's really easy to add, um, and I'm going to show you that now. So what we're going to want to do is add a new endpoint. I'm going to call this uh, Yucca Demo, and it is Eucalyptus, not AWS. Um, switch over here. I'm logged into my CLC. And the easiest way to do is just check out uh, your Yuka RC file, which you should have gotten if you um, created some credentials. Uh, and if you had a different user, just take a look at that user's Yuka RC, or you can use the admin console any way you want to see credentials. You can do that. Uh, this is just the easiest way for me uh, to see what's going on. So we need our EC2 URL. What that is actually going to be is our CLC IP and the uh, port 8773. I'm just going to copy that and paste it in here. Now my walrus is co-located so it's going to be the same IP uh, URL for that. If your walrus was on another host it, you would just simply change the correct um, IP for that host and it's still the same port. And we're going to say OK. Now we have our new endpoint, but what we need to do is add credentials for that endpoint. Um, let's call this, uh, and this is my cloud admin, so I like to do things that make sense so I know what they are later. And it's easy, just grab your access key from your UCRC file, also grab your secret key. Now, if you were wanting to set up uh, AWS endpoint, you would just use your access key and secret key for AWS account um, and select AWS as the endpoint. Now, this was a Yuka demo. We'll select that. OK. So there I've added it. Um, right now, I have this QA Cloud uh, credential activated. And let me show you. It's awesome. You can see what instances you have running, images available to you. You know, check out load balancers you have, you know, if you have policies that allow you to do these things on the particular cloud that you're using and the user you're using. Um, but what I want to do now is switch to the one we just added here. As you can see, now it's switched to the different endpoint. And you can see that I don't have any instances running. I just set this cloud up for the demo. Um, I have a couple images available to me. Just, uh, and that's about it. I don't have any other load balancers. Uh, there's a security group by default there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me show you quickly uh, AWS endpoint. Switch to AWS. Since I don't have permissions to do all the describes and reads and things on this account, um, I get these pop-ups. Um, there's probably a few more as it's going to go through services, but yeah, there's another one. You can see I have, there's two stopped instances there. Um, all the Amazon images that I have access to are here. Um, and that's about it. Yucalobo is awesome. It's easy to add new endpoints and manage your cloud this way. I highly suggest everyone takes a look at it. Thanks for joining. Bye.